Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix network connection error on frag punk and how we can fix this error. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here. I'll be showing you step one by step. So the first step we can try out is all about we have to do a restart on your PC. So to do a restart just go over here in the start icon. Now from here go over here. Now just go over here restart, click on this particular icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to check. Step 2 is all about we need to do a restart over the Steam and we need to verify the game file. So to do so, we just need to go over here in the Steam. So this is how it looks like. Steam might be on or on completely. Right now by accidentally I somehow entered into big picture mode. So what I'm trying to do is. I'm going to exit the big picture mode. Just go over here. Let me go to the power and I'll go for exit big picture mode. Right now, I need to get into the Steam once again so that this is how it looks like. This is how the Steam looks like by default. So right now, over here in the frag punk, so we need to restart the Steam. So to do a restart on the Steam, what we need to do is we just need to go over here at the top and you have to click on this one. And there is an option called exit. Just click on this one. So right now, the Steam is completely shutting down. And now what we need to do is we just need to launch the Steam after a few seconds. So it is like a fresh start for the Steam. So if you're closing the Steam, just by usual way, it is not actually the way of what I have to say. It's not actual way of restarting the Steam. The restarting Steam is this is how the restarting should be done. This is a very important step. So once the restarting is done, it will take you to this page and it will be loading up. And now we need to go to the library. Now from here you can directly go to the frag punk and you can launch the game. That's what you have to do. So if the game is successfully launched over here by default, make sure that once afterwards you have to launch the game. And also we need to verify the game file. So to do this just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Go to, we need to go over here. We just need to go over here. Then just right click over here, go to the properties. Go to the installed file and there is an option called verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file is actually a very important step which will be cross checking every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So I'm going to skip this you just need to click on this one which will be taking a lot of time. So uh, once afterwards you have to try to launch the game. Next one is all about we need to make sure the date time and time zone and region is correct on your computer. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search go to settings. Now from here we have to navigate to uh, over here time and language, go over here date and time. So make sure that you have selected this completely. So you have to make sure one thing right now, enable the location permission for setting improve the time zone accuracy. So right now I need to make one change over here that I have turned this off. So what I need to do is just need to go back and right now navigate to the date and time. So make sure that you have selected according to the country like you have selected it properly and make sure this is time zone automatically is actually grayed out for me. So I need to turn this on and also make sure the automatically should be turned on and also if you scroll down you can see there is an option called language and region. So over here you have to make sure that you have selected the country based on your configuration or geography. For example I am from India so I have to select India. And once afterwards, you just need to close this and you have to go back and check with your game. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is we need to perform a power cycle shutdown on a computer and we need to unplug the power cable. Press and hold the power button on for a few seconds and we need to turn off the Wi-Fi router and we need to wait for a few seconds and we need to restart the Wi-Fi and we need to restart the computer. This is actually kind of a perform a power sh sh cycle shutdown on a system which is you have to do same like what it is written over here. I'll be providing that in the description. I cannot show you that and you have to try this out. This even help as well. Next one, we need to run these commands in the CMD. So first I'll be giving these commands in the description so you don't have to worry. We have quite few commands. So I'll be copy these. Just go over here, search for CMD, click on run as an administrator, go for yes. Now we need to paste first one, press enter. So you can see it is resolver completely done. Next one we need to config this one we need to copy this and we need to go for the next one that is we need to paste this and press enter. Now we need to go over here go over here to the IP config renew copy this and we have to press enter and we have to move to the next one that is we need to go over here that is net windsock reset copy this and we have to paste it 
press enter next one we need to go over here net switch int ip reset so go over here and press enter we have to copy this paste it just paste it one by one and i think we have few more left copy this as well copy and we have to paste it press enter and we have next one that is nets int ip v6 reset copy this and we have to paste it press enter and we have to move to the next one that is copy this and we have to paste it now press enter once every parameters are all done we just need to close this and you have to check next one we need to allow the game to window security so just go over here search for the control panel and we need to click on this one go over here in the windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down make sure the frag punk is added and you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public now click on change setting go to allow another app go to the browse if it is not added we need to add it by default go to the installation folder so i think it is on g i have installed it on g so scroll down and go to the folder select this and we need to open and add it so it is says the exception is already added so that is why i'm getting the error so make sure that you added this and make sure that you put a check on both the boxes private and public so once afterwards most probably you have to try this and these can help you guys out i hope this quick video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye